Hi. Hi. Hi, Anita. How are you? Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi, Noe. Hi, Jose. Hi, Mary, Daniel, Elizabeth. Very teacher. good. Nice to have everybody in class already. Wow. Are you guys ready to start a new week? Yes. Yes, ready. <laughs> yes. Hi, Elmer. Good evening, my dear teacher. How are you? Fine, fine. Uh -huh, Noemi, how was how was your work today? You're going to work, Noemi, or not? Uh, hicieron los grupos pequeños y toca ir hasta el viernes, el miércoles. Ah, okay. Okay. What about the rest? Of Are you guys working or you're staying home? Ana, uh, in my home. Uh -huh, the, okay. Oh. I stay uh, home. You stay teacher. home too? Okay. Elmer, you teacher. stay home? No, teacher. I have to work on my... <laughs> In the office? <laughs> yes, teacher, because I, I have to... Because you're the manager. <laughs> Algo así. <laughs> All right, very good. Any? No more school. Uh -huh, Anita, perdóneme. Sorry, say, say that again. Sí. No sé por qué no, no puedo entrar a, mi, a la plataforma. No me aparece el, el preavanzado uno. Y desde siempre, Anita, o había podido entrar y ahorita ya no puede. Ajá, había podido entrar y, y, y ahora ya no puedo. Ya ni me aparece ahí nada. Mm. Dice que tiene que estar, tengo que estar invitada, algo así. Ok. Para, para eh, poder entrar. Vaya, déjeme, quiero ver, déjeme comunicarme con Jason mañana en la mañana para que vea ese caso suyo, oye, pero sí había podido entrar. Sí, había entrado, había empezado a, a las primeras dos páginas. Ajá, ajá, ok. Entonces, right. y, después, ¿Y, y si se va el correo, Ana... Donde le mandaron la Ajá. información y el link, y luego de ahí vuelve a entrar otra vez. Voy a probar entonces. Pero así, y si no, igual. Eh, ahora, bueno, Jason siempre escribe, ¿verdad? Escribe ahora en el grupo, entonces hay cualquier cosa. Con él, Anita, oye. Ok, gracias, la verdad. All right, very good. All right, ok, guys, so let's begin a new week. This is week number three. So this week we need to, like, work on a lot of uh, things. Section, okay, so we're going to begin right away, and this is what I have for you. Eh, a propósito, como cinco nada más, me mandaron fotos de su, de su proceso y progreso en la plataforma y los demás. Ah, no sabía yo. Sí, no, yo tampoco. Porque ustedes que perdimos el, el, el qué día era qué sí, día. Yo, no sé qué día lo puso. Era, estamos no perdidos tenía, en el espacio sí, ahora que estamos en casa. Qué horror, ¿verdad? Yo siento que todos los domingos, todos los días es domingo. <risa> bueno, yo, aproveche que está descansando, ah, Ticho, no porque que después le de toca. Semana. Sí, es así. Solo que ya saben qué condiciones, ¿no? <risa> sí, teacher, yo sé. No, anyway, bueno, no importa, pero tómenle foto a su progreso eh, y mándenmelo para ver, para regañarles o felicitarles. Me da pena. Ya sabía yo. <risa> Ay, Eli, pero ahorita ya no, no estoy yendo ni a la escuela ni al cole. Ahorita no, pero como he estado subiendo guías. Sí, es cierto. Ay, es tremendo. Anyway, guys, pero bueno, a, traten de avanzar y vamos viendo ahí, ¿ok? okay. So, Mañana en la noche para ver que me dé todo el día para avanzar. Está bueno, ok, no, don't worry about it. Ok, so this is what we have today. We're going to study this. Eh, this is uh, 3.3 on the platform, guys. This is section 3. Hay una como huellita por ahí. Si ponen sus micrófonos, los apagan o se los apagan. Hoy del coronavirus están hablando de guarda. Ay, tanto poder. <risa> ah, ya basta de tanto. Sorry, no, eh, lo siento que lo apagué, pero así me escuchan. All right, very good. Okay. <risa> All right, very good. So we're going to talk about this. This is, as I said, this is the first topic of section three that we're going to like study. And it's requests with models and gerunds. Okay, now gerunds, we studied that before. 
So remember that a gerund, it is not a verb, okay? It is like a name of something, okay? As a, a noun or a sustantivo that we call it in Spanish, okay? So we have request with models, if clauses, and gerunds. So we're going to combine the model verbs like can, may, would you mind, and all those model verbs that we have studied before with if clauses and gerunds, okay? So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you, and this is exactly what's on the platform, all right? But I have divided it like this. So we have here, guys, this is like the first one. <coughs> Remember that this request, when we ask, or when we say request is when we ask for something, all right? When we request either a favor or we request something from someone else, okay? And we can do it in different, ways as in ways to ask for something if in this case noemi is my friend and i say hey noe can you help me because she's my friend all right so it's a little bit more informal but if i don't know you very much or very well i can say um ellie do you mind if for example because that's a little bit more formal I'm not saying I don't, uh, Ellie, I, I know Ellie, but in this case, it's just an example, all right? So we, we go from informal to very formal, and I'm going to walk you through that. Again, that's on the platform, uh, but I'm going to show you this one. Oops, this is like, this is what I'm talking to you about. Vamos a ir, like one by one, kind of. All right, so we have request with model, if, clauses, and gerunds. Then is less, less formal, like very informal, like with friends or with your mother, or with your husband, or with your kids, all right? You say, could, could I borrow your pencil, or can I borrow your pencil? And that's very informal. It's not formal, but it's not impolite. It's okay, all right? Now, if you see this, sorry, if you see this, we have can, could, is it okay if, do you mind if, uh, would it be okay if, would you mind if those are th those right now, guys? The if, if, if are the ones. Would you we, mind? These, these are the ones that we have here. If clause. Would you mind? Right? Uh, and then I have. Would you mind if I borrowed your digital camera? Would you mind letting me use your laptop? I wonder if I could borrow your uh, some money, and I was wondering if I if you would mind lending me your car. This one is super formal, all right? Usually we're like in between, all right? If we're talking to friends, as I said, then we can use, we can, use can, could, or it's okay, or do you mind? From do you mind to would you mind is a little bit more formal, but super, super formal is I wonder if, or I was wondering if, all right? Those, the last two are the super formal ones. You can say that to the owner of the company, to the manager, to the president of the company, or to someone that you don't know very well, and that you can ask, and that you, that you need a favor from that person, okay? So here, I wanted to show you this because as I said, this is from the less formal to the more formal, okay? Now, within these, we have, the request, if you notice, everything is modeled here. Can, could, do you mind, would it be okay, would you mind, would you, uh, I wonder, these are model verbs, all right? Some of them, we are using them with, with if clauses and other ones we're using them with the gerunds. How to use that? This is what I'm going to tell you about right now, okay? So we have number one, some ways to ask for favors. It's a, for example, you say, is it okay if, and do you mind if are followed by the present simple? Can you see, guys, or is it too little? Is it like very small or is it okay? Can you see it? <laughs> Whoops. Can you see it, guys? Yeah, can you see? Hi, Adriana. All right. Yes, I can see. Okay, very good. Okay. So it says, is it okay if, and do you mm -hmm. mind if they are always followed by the present simple? So I say, Elmer, is it okay if I use your computer? Or I say, uh, Elizabeth Salguero, do you mind if I uh, write your pencil? All right? So 
if I use is it okay if, and do you mind mm -hmm. if, they are always followed by the, the present simple, always, okay? And now we use simple present or present simple, okay? Simple so if you notice the example, Noe, can you read the example number one? Is it okay if? Noesita, your microphone, Noe. Sorry, sorry. That's okay. Okay. It is okay if I borrow your camera. Is it okay if I borrow your camera? Very good. Adriana, can you read the second one, please? <coughs> is it okay if you get married with me? Oh, my goodness. Is it okay if you get married with me? <laughs> Thank you. All right. Ana Dimas, can you, um, can you read number three? Is it okay if she calls you tonight? Excellent. Is it okay if she calls you tonight? Now, I want you to pay attention to number three because number three is talking about a third person. It's talking about a she. And because of the rule, the rule says that you have to use present simple and we're talking about she here. So that's why we're using the verb with third person singular. All right. So we have to say, is it okay if Noemi calls you tonight? Okay, or is it okay if he comes to your house tonight? Okay, if you're talking about third person singular, you need to use the rule for third person singular simple present. Okay, so don't forget that. You cannot say, is it okay if she call you tonight? No, is it okay if she calls you tonight? Yeah, you understand that guys? <laughs> All right, yes. very good. <clears throat> All right, very good. Then uh, example number four. Uh, let's four. see. Um, Eli Salguero, can you read it, please? Of course. Do you mind if I use your car? Excellent. All right. Jose Rodriguez, the last one. Do you mind if he drives you? to work do you mind if he drives you to work all right thank you jose notice that in example number five again we're talking about he so we need the verb with third person singular drives okay don't forget that thank you all right okay so do you understand that rule number one is it okay if, and do you mind if, they're always going to be used by simple present or present simple, okay? That is rule. Do you mind if, is it okay if? Can I go on to slide number two? Yeah, están tomando nota o puedo avanzar? Go ahead. All right, thank you. Teacher, okay. yes. sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Uh, you, usted revisa, sí, me imagino, ¿verdad? usted revisa lo, lo, los ejercicios de la plataforma. Abajo. Sí, sí. Ah, y podr, podría ver que hoy me puse al día, hasta con estas, pero no pasé el examen porque no, no, no combiné como las palabras, pero los ejercicios me gustaría saber si estaban buenos. Okay. Ah, vaya. lo que pasa es que no me puedo meter a su progreso. ¿Es eso lo que me hacer? Um, no, en las en, en la plataforma en uh -huh. los ejercicios que uno pone abajo de los ah, ya, 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 entendí, ok, ok de hecho los vi ahora pero guarda el suyo, pero sí vi que usted había escrito ah, ok All right, ya, ya lo okay. vamos a ver ahí, ok, very good so this is number two request with if clauses and the past tense ok here, guys, we were talking about requests with if clauses and the present tense, and there are two. Is it okay if, and do you mind if? Okay, number two, request with if clauses and the past tense. Voy a volver a silenciar porque hay una web por ahí que realmente no sé de dónde viene. Thank you, all right, very good, okay, so. Number two, request with if clauses and the past tense. So we have, would it be, would be, would be okay if, would you mind if, are followed by past tense. Would it be, uh -huh, okay, okay, aquí me falta algo, guys, hold on. 
Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Vamos a quitar. Would it? Would it be okay? Mm -hmm. Would it be okay if, would you mind if they are followed by past tenses? Whatever verb or whatever favor or whatever thing that you're asking, it has to be in the simple past. All right, so you say, would it be okay if I went with you? All right, or would you mind if I took, I don't know, your car, all right? So would, would it be okay if I picked you tonight? Would it be okay if I used your video camera? Would you mind if I came uh, to your house? Sorry, guys. <laughs> to your, oops, to your house. All right, that's better. To your house, all right. So we have those um, ways to say this. Would it be okay if? Would you mind if, all right, then you need to be followed or you need to use the past tense of the verbs. Okay, you understand that? Yeah, move your head if you say yes. yes. Yeah, all right, very good, okay. Okay, next, can I go on? Okay, next um, slide, we have number three. Request with the gerunds, ing. Remember that they look like pre, uh, present progressive, but they are not, okay? Now you say, would you mind without if? Only would you mind, okay? If you notice here, pay attention. Here you say, would you mind if? You cannot combine would you mind if with gerund, all right? So you say, would you mind is followed by a gerund. Would you mind lending me your car? Would you mind doing TOEFL tests next week? Would you mind not forgetting your task, uh, your task conference call? All right, so if you notice, you don't say, would you mind if, it's, um, for example, you cannot say, would you mind if lending me your phone? It doesn't make sense. You cannot mix if with gerunds. Uh, gerunds is a, a different family and the if clause is a different family. You cannot join them together. All right, so you say, would you mind lending? Would you mind coming to my house? Would you mind explaining that exercise? Would you mind helping me? Would you mind um, taking me to the store? Would you mind not going out of your house? All right, so you have many ways, whatever it is. If you use, would you mind, you need to use the gerund, not if, all right, and then, that's why you use the ing of the, in this case, the, uh, the verb that you want to say. You understand, guys? Yeah? Okay. So we have studied three so far. va sin el if. Sí, sin el if. Sin el if. Si va con el if, va, y si va esa forma, va con el if and simple past. Ajá, si pasado. Pasado simple. Si le quita el if, entonces va con gerundio. Entonces va con gerundio. Right. No lo va, no lo pueden mezclar. O sea, no puede decir, would you mind if lending me your car? Ahí no está diciendo nada. Okay. All right, yes. Las puede hacer negativa, like uh, sentence number four. Would you mind not forgetting your task? Would you mind not going out of your house? Would you mind not coughing in front of me? All right, yeah, so you have to be mm -hmm. careful with that. And then I'm gonna show you, I think there are four, yeah. I'm sorry, no, did you finish, guys? Did you finish copying? No, 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 no. Okay. One moment, teacher. One that's moment. okay, that's okay. Any questions? Mientras no he copia los demás, questions, please ask me right now, guys. Next week. Many questions. Yes, uh-huh. Anna, uh, tell me. In this case, uh, the difference is only without if. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the first one, what, 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 what was? This one. Okay. Is it okay if, and do you mind if? Do you mind or would you mind? Uh, with present tense. Yes, but yeah, that's right, with simple present tense. Notice that in this one, we're using do you mind. We're not using would you mind. 
Okay. Va, hoy ¿Ya? sí le entiendo, okay. teacher, porque en el, en el de la plataforma sale otro volado usted. Uh -huh. Bueno, uh -huh. yo le entendía que solo podríamos usar en el en los gerundios eh, el que le sale usted ahí, el letting uh -huh. y lending. No, puede ser cualquiera. Uh -huh. Mientras usted aplique la regla, no, usted puede usar lo que necesite. Por ejemplo, le digo... Por eso le decía aquí, ¿verdad? En la última, would you mind not going out of your house? No salir de su casa. All right. Okay. Puede ser cualquier verbo. Mientras siga la regla, it's okay. Ok. All right. Acuérdense que a veces en la plataforma es como que se quedan cortos, ¿verdad? Por el hecho de que obviamente duran cinco o siete minutos. Y esta es la idea, pues, de tener la clase después para ahondar más en Y no le entiendo mucho al maestro también. Ok. All right, very good. Any other question? Teacher, and yes. the request number one and number two. Yeah. We we can use uh if. Yeah. Yeah. But this way. In, mm -hmm. Yes. And in, in number, in Jennifer, number one, in number one you can use do you mind? No would you mind. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. But, but you can use if. Uh, we, yes. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. We can use if. If. And in this to connect also. The, the, right. Yes. And in request number two, you can use if again, but in this way. Would it be okay if? Would you mind if? Yes. What's the difference, uh, Jennifer? You need to know the exact words to apply the exact rules. All right. You okay. cannot combine it. Yes. Ok. I understand. Yes. Por eso, por eso se los quise dividir así, ¿verdad? Para que lo vieran. Por ejemplo, en esta es request with if clauses and the present tense. Ok. Aquí yes. solo vamos a usar. Si usamos las requests con if clauses, pero entendemos que usamos el presente simple con este tipo de preguntas. ¿Cuáles son? Son dos. ¿Y ser ok if? ¿Or do you mind if? Ok. En la otra tenemos okay. request siempre con if clauses siempre usando the, the, the past tense. Cuando usamos esto con ese dos tipos de preguntas. Whoa. Would it be okay if or would you mind if? All right. Entonces en esas okay. dos sí usamos el past tense. Y en esta ya no tenemos el if, all right, sino que el gerund, quitamos el if y agregamos el gerund. Y en ese caso nos queda, would you mind? Y el, el gerón que usted pueda usar, cualquiera. Aquí no es solo uno u otro, ¿verdad? Sino que es lo que se le ocurra. Uh -huh. Yo le podría, would you mind no smoking in class? Would you mind no speaking in class? Would you mind, eh, I don't know, eh, not fighting? Lo que sea que esté sucediendo, que usted esté pidiendo que se deje de hacer o que se haga. All right, doesn't matter what. Y luego... Teníamos estas, request with if clauses and models. This is number four. Wonder plus if is followed by a model. I wonder, I wonder if I could borrow some money. All right. I was wondering if you would mind letting me use your car. Or you can look at the picture. Oh, I forget it. This, ah, uh, this one. Ajá, el cuadrito este. All right. La, la, la que les decía yo que es como el súper más, um, más formal. Formal. Yes. Uh -huh. Y ahí mezclamos. Es súper, súper polite. Y súper formal. Yes. So ahí, we mix between the request with the if clauses and the models. Es como más complicada. All right. O sea, ser muy educado es muy complicado. <laughs> uh -huh. Do you have any questions? No questions. Um, in the in the sentence, mm -hmm. and number three yes. is all all the I was wondering wondering if you will well, mind. Excellent. It's the whole thing, Noemi. Is, is toda toda yeah. ese pedazo? Sí, todo ese pedazo para pedir algo. Está complicado. Wow. <laughs> sí, niña. Super. Ajá, y si se fija en la plataforma, tanto en la plataforma como en este cuadrito, solo se lo voy a mover, ¿no? Para enseñarle una cosa. Ah, okay. aquí, aquí lo contraen. 
Fíjese que aquí, en la última, I was wondering if you'd, you'd mind, yes. este you'd, you'd mind. you would. ¿Verdad? Ese es el mismo, lo voy a volver a mover para atrás, es el mismo would que está aquí. ¿Ya? Yeah? Yeah. Ahí no lo han contractado, pero aquí sí, pero es lo mismo. Mm, ok. Mm -hmm. Está yuca todas estas reglas, pero si se llegan a aprender, sí. gran avance. ¿verdad? Sí, claro, sí, sí. Mm -hmm. Pero creo que, bueno, no sé, no sé si creen que les sirve así como se, se ha desglosado, porque voy a mover, Noemi, porque al, al solo verlo aquí es como todo junto, ¿verdad? Y entonces usted no. Es como que, ajá, pero ¿y qué pasa? ¿Cuándo ocupo qué o en qué momento ocupo el qué? ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Sí, Porque pero yo... si sí nos sirve, si sí nos sirve, disculpe, sí. Noemi. Si sí nos sirve y, y, y por eso le digo, sí son reglas bien puntuales que uh -huh. si nos las llegamos a aprender, eh, sí avanzamos bastante. Sí, claro. Uh -huh. sí. Como siempre, la mejor la teacher, pues, oh, <risa> Teacher. Sí, teacher, porque yo sí andaba chiflando una loma con el, la clase en, en el volado yes, because it says shortest. I have a question, teacher. Yes, ask me, Jose. Uh -huh. And what about Ken and Cool? We will use only with, with models. Yeah, that one is the normal one. Esa es como la más simple. Si usted se trabó en cualquier otra forma de pedir algo, de solicitar algo, de requerir algo, ocupe el que ni el cupel could. Lo que pasa es que caen en lo informal, pero no en lo grosero, ¿verdad? Sino que caen en lo que, digo, usted está hablando con el gerente general de su empresa y usted se le trabó decir, I was wondering if you would mind lending me. Entonces dígale, can I borrow your car? O sea, es como lo más fácil, ¿verdad? Pero son súper informales. En el caso, si usted está con su amigo, amiga, su colega, y usted le dice, hey, can I borrow... Y lo que le, el, el, el reporte, ¿no? Entonces, el Ken y el Kurt son como las más básicas de siempre, de las, así, del básico uno. Uh -huh. Las otras, como dice Elmer, son a little bit more complicated, the rules, but once you understand them and once you practice them, they are very, very useful. All right? Yes. All right, teacher. Elmercito, ¿quiere que le mande esto a todos ahorita? Por favor, Please. teacher, gracias. Es una Please, belleza. Una Voy belleza. a volver a poner la anterior. La, no, la, no, la, esta pasa? cuarentena la he hecho buena. You're ¿Cómo? bullying me. ¿Te quieres, teacher? Imagínese. El Mer. Elmer. Mire, Elmer, por no, algo no ha pedido. Es buena onda el Elmer, hombre. Por algo no ha no, pedido un año y medio. Que no me cambien a mí de ser su maestra, no solo en cuarentena, no sea grosero. Claro, no, no es grosería, teacher, no, ah. que ha ablandado su corazoncito. Yo sé nada más eso, eso no es grosería. Anyway, solo por eso le voy a poner ejercicio, no se preocupe. All right, ready, guys? Yes. Ok, so, vamos a ir... Eh, no, can I, can I, did you finish? The dog no? is right. Yeah, teacher. Ok, Thank very good. Ok, so here. This is, usted tiene que seguir esto, ¿verdad? Esto y obviamente las reglas que ya copiaron y ya se la puede mandar. En lo que ustedes están en el grupo, en los grupos, les mando esta presentación para que se puedan auxiliar. All right, so the idea here is for you to come up with an example for every, every um, request. One using can. One, you, obviamente, different requests per use, all right? So for number one, you can say, can I, can I watch a movie with you? All right, finished. Number two, could you um, come with me to the store? All right, and then number three, number four, number five, six, seven, <coughs> hasta llegar a la más complicada, que es, I was wondering if you would mind explaining this topic to me. Okay, obviamente each sentence is, it, it, sorry, each request is different. Okay, it's not the same request usando la misma request para, para todos, that's too easy, all right? So think about nine different requests using the proper rule. You understand what to do? Yes, teacher. Yes. And uh, in, the, in the request with models, mm -hmm. I know uh, 
the sentence no is no is question for the last for the last ones yes ma'am yeah no they're not they are not my dear teacher is they're different questions no eh? they are questions mm. but like not really like in an indirect way ah, okay okay mm -hmm. yeah. okay okay teacher yes i i i i have to make um uh sentences with the uh, all the rules with the different verbs yeah with different requests uh-huh okay different requests for right. each in, in sentence the, it's yeah. rules for that's right okay. for that in other words um Elmer, i have 17 people connected oh my god funciona la cuarentena <laughs> <laughs> All right, eh, Elmer. Entonces, como es un request per corazón. Um, yeah, whatever. Eh, es un request per sentence. Elmer quiere decir que son nueve verbos diferentes porque estoy requesting y en mi request es un verbo al final. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna um we're gonna go here and I'm gonna send you to your groups. All right. Eh, traten porfa de escribir el grupo las pueda ver y vamos leyendo y corrigiendo al mismo tiempo, ¿ok? Entonces no sé si pone Word o Wordpad okay. o algo ahí para que se puedan ver. Ok, ok, guys. So we have, so vamos en pareja, son ocho grupos. There you go, guys. We can start now. No, and Elizabeth Salguero, what happened? Elizabeth? The instruction, the... Hi, Norma. The I'm sorry. Hi, Norma. What do you need? My number? No, the WhatsApp number for this group because I don't have that, that number. I don't know if I have uh, one, let me one moment. Uh, I three zero two nine ten PM zero one twenty. Elmer, is that the one? It's PA one, uh-huh. PA one dash zero one dash nine dash ten dash PM dash three, uh, zero three dash twenty. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, no, no have that number. Yes, it's that's, that's... it's um they send it to you on the email uh, norma okay so maybe you can check on the email or verdad el mercado lo mandaron sí sí cuando le mandaron la instrucción de de la del del nuevo nivel allí va el el, el grupo ajá uh -huh. okay mm -hmm. ahí lo, lo voy a revisar porque no no lo encuentro y el que tenía activo creo que ya se lo asignaron a otro porque ah. ya vi que la mayoría ya se salió. Mm. Ok. Ok. Because, eh, y le digo a Elmer que no me metí la semana pasada porque me confundí con un correo que mandé en Safor que había cancelado algunos grupos. Ah, algunos ah, son, como esos son los presenciales. Ajá, entonces ahí yo no leí bien y me confundí. Ay, no, Por eso no había entrado hasta andaba hoy. De andaba de parranda. Andaba de parranda. Ok, pero ya me voy a poner al día, teacher. Ok, ok. Pero aquí tiene a Don Elmer, que Don Elmer es mi asistente. Así es. Qué ya. chévere. Le vamos a pedir a Don Elmer que me comparta todos lo, los archivos. Sí. Elmer siempre va a querer la presentación porque la tiene ahí, sí. pero la quiere. Sí, sí, la quiero. Pero la estudia, o solo es por ponerme más trabajo en la vida. 
¿Usted cree, ¿Usted cree que avanzaría si no estudiara su presentación? Of course. Ajá, vea. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ahí está la respuesta, María. <risa> ok, ya la mando. Me voy. Me voy. <risa> ING. Would you mind without if is followed by gerund? Would you mind letting my letting me your car? So uh, would you mind gerund? Hi Daniel. Hi Mary. Hi. Hi. Do you have any questions? For now, no. Okay. All right. Very good. Would you mind not? Uh, would you would you mind telling me after six p.m. Just make sure that you can copy it. Oh, there you go. Would you mind not calling me? Oh, nice. That's a nice sentence. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice. I don't know if okay. this is going to be a good sentence. <laughs> Would you mind telling me the secret? Oh my God. All right, yeah, I would mind. <laughs> All right, okay, very good, Daniel, nice. So, next one. Eli, Eli, ¿qué le pasó, Eli? Ay, contando como, y algo, no sé, algo más. Más que hoy salí. ¿Hoy salió? Sí, es que fui al súper y, y hoy ay, me siento con algo de calentura. Uy, Eli, no me diga eso. <risa> Ahorita ya me voy a tomar un par de pastillas para que me quite la calentura. Pero es que yo creo que me, es que me bañé hoy como a las 5, quizás por eso también. Pero sí me, me está dando como calentura. Uy, ok. 
<risa> ok, ¿cómo van? Eh, Ahí llevamos, vamos. Llevamos cuatro. Tres y la mitad. Bueno, tres y la mitad. <risa> ok. Would you mind if if uh, if I if if you buy if is it okay if I take a picture of your homework? Oh my gosh! Is it okay if I take a picture of your homework? <laughs> Uh, mind if he sings at the party, would it be okay if you heated the food for us? Nice sentence. Nice girls, very good job. Nice, nice. Thank you. What? Okay. Number four. And the number four is would it would it be okay if I Go no. do to the supermarket. No. Do, do you mind if? Number four is do you mind? No. What is your example? No, the number five is would, would it be okay? Uh, yes, but the number four uh, is no, no le hemos hecho. <laughs> ah, do you mind? Uh -huh. Okay. Do you mind if I use your computer? No, no, not using use. <laughs> uh -huh, it's use. Como van? Eh, uh -huh. Pues vamos en la número cuatro, pero bueno, eh, lo hemos puesto, lo hemos escrito en el chat. ¿sí? Ah, ok, ok. Ajá, pero en la número tres, uh -huh. solo la última vale, porque las anteriores están mal. Ah, ok. <risa> <risa> ok. Acuérdense que cuando usamos el ICER, ok, y el do you mind it, el verbo va en presente. Ok. Sí. Ajá, uh -huh. sí, esa, esa es la... la Le iba a hacer la corrección y siempre lo escribí mal. <risa> ok. Ok. Do you mind if... I see... I see you... Do you mind if I see you the next week, for example? Do you mind if I see you? Yeah, that's okay. 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 Are you writing? Uh, yes, but in my, in my in notes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you? I couldn't see the, okay. the, the whole screen. Oh, sí, 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 sí. Quítale esta. Hi, Selina. Hi, Noe. Hi, teacher. Hello. La, la, las ve ahí las oraciones, teacher, para que no yes. las revise. Can you lend me some money for a soda? Could you pay the ticket? Can you take the ticket in this month? All right. Is it okay if I share my screen with you? Just the spelling with with. Check the spelling of with. Do you mind if I use your blouse for the next weekend? Would would it be okay if I use your bathroom's house? Okay. That's good. Good. Okay. Hoy sí, no. Hoy sí le agarró. Sí, pero ah, no sé qué onda, me porque hay que hacer como un Scrabble, dice ahí en la, en el, en la plataforma. De Ajá. esta en la, 
Y este, pues hice varias y no, no me sale ninguna. Pero la voy a volver a ver porque creo que me comí las, la, los signos de interrogación. Ok. Tal vez con esas me salen. Mr. Fitness, uh -huh. necessary the, okay, in the sentence it's with uh, mayúscula, ok? Usually, yeah. Remember that okay, okay is like a contraction. Okay. I mean, it's like an abbreviation kind of thing, so it's always capital letters. Uh -huh. Ah, y las dos, mire, Sally. Ok. Las dos deben de ser mayúsculas. What el de el, la, la K. The OK, okay and the okay. three. Ajá. Donde dice OK. La K, la. Yes, ma'am. Uh -huh. Ey, tranquilas. Ok. And the number six, would you mind if? Um, is the past and the past. If um, you said to her. I I write in I write in in the book number six. Did you mind if I el 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 verbo debe estar en pasado. In the yes, no problem. Yes. Really, is, um, we Daniel. need practice. Yes. Yes. Practicing to the DP. Tell me number one, other one. Yes. Other. Can you come here tomorrow? It's good. Can I go to the bathroom? Oh. Can they, can they, can they use, use the bear? Can you? Can they use the bear? Can they use just the bed? Okay. I I I have a question. For example, number two, who could he uh, let the device? Let's. Uh -huh, let the buy. Buy. Uh -huh. La bicicleta. Let's buy. Let's buy. Ah. Yes, la bicicleta. Bike. Ah, bike. 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 Uh -huh. Yes, bike. Could he let bike? Ajá. Uh -huh. Would you let o dejar? Ajá. Uh -huh. What are you doing, number two? Uh, could you let, let's, uh, let me my bike. Could you lend me your bike? Oh, your bike. Uh -huh. No, lend no. Let. Can you let? let? Dejar. Uh -huh. Can you let me your bike? Como dejármela a mí. O oh, 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 soltarla, algo así. Como que la dejes. Ah, could, okay. Could you let go of your bike? Let go, let go uh -huh. and soltar. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. let, go, let go es soltar. Let go. Solo let no es como dejar, ¿verdad? Let, let, let you in. 
dejarla entrar, pero let go es soltar. Ah, ok. Let go. Let go of the bike. Let go of your bike. Yes. Yes. Of my bike. Uh -huh. Oh, my bike. Ok. Mm -hmm. And other case, it is, it, it is ok. Teacher. Hola. If, ok, it is. Hi, Do you mind if I make your homework? Oh, is it okay if I make your homework? <laughs> Do you mind if I write very slowly? Would it be okay if I sung with you tonight? Sung de cantar porque son es canción. Ah, uh -huh. sung. Uh -huh. El pasado de sing. Okay. Uh -huh. Con A. Uh. Ah, con A, okay. con A, con A, con A. Con A. That's okay. Uh -huh. Y with también, ¿verdad? What's the spelling on with? It's w I T H. Would you mind if I took a laptop? Would you mind driving driving to work tomorrow? I wonder if you can dance well. I was wondering if you would mind lending me money. Oh my god, toda atravesada esa oración, right? <laughs> Is it okay if she cooks dinner? If she, if she cooks dinner, not that dinner. Eso es en español. If she cooks dinner. No. Para nosotros le ponemos el artículo, en inglés no. Ah, ok. Ok, estás está sol. Ya. Yeah. Ok. We come back. Okay, where? Yeah, yeah, give me a second. And this again. All right. Is that the last one? So you're finished, right? Yes. Yeah. Is it okay? Oh, you didn't do can and could? No, right? Ah, no. The can and could are the easiest ones. That's okay. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. time to go back. All right. Oh my goodness, qué rápido se pasó. <laughs> All right. We're going back right now. All right, guys. So, were you able to finish all your sentences, kind of? Yes. 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 We I have mm -hmm. a, a question. Yes, what's your question? Uh, in the fourth in the fourth form, uh -huh. uh, I wonder if I could borrow and if mm -hmm. I use I wonder, I only use could or I can use would. I wonder if I would borrow, if I could borrow. Um you can use remember that according to the rule here. Hold on. Because I, I was wondering that because in the second one they say I was wondering if you would, and the and the first one is in present per in present yeah the, the verb and and the next one is gerund so I we have that question when 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 to use which one exactly all right. So usually uh, we use I, I wonder I wondering I wonder my goodness if I could borrow some I wonder if I could if he could usually we use could because could. of the question yeah. the other one yes you're always going to use would so if I use I was wondering I have to use would. Oh, yeah. And if, Porque, if, because if, if I, we, Mary, because in the last one you need you need to use would because you're using the whole expression. Would you mind? All right. Okay. Esa expresión no se, that expression cannot be changed. It's the whole expression together. I was wondering <sighs> if you uh, would mind lending me or giving me or us answering me or explaining to me whatever you're using is the whole expression so for the last one okay. yeah, you have to use would all the time so i can use i would 
I, I wonder if you would take me home after work. Sure. It's okay. Well, you could change it, but usually, uh, Mary, we, us uh, we usually use could instead of, for that one, could. we use could. Okay. In some cases, you may use another one, all right, but mm, usually it's, it's could the one that goes. Okay. Okay. It's right. the, the common. Yeah, it's the uh, yeah, it's the most common one. It's the most it's common. It's common one, yeah. Yes. All right, guys. So uh, I sent this presentation already. Revisenla porque está en el grupo. Ahora si usted está en el grupo la recibió porque ya la mandé. Para que no mande. Okay, teacher. You. Well. <laughs> All right, guys. Yes. Excuse me, Jennifer. I take a picture. Ah, okay. All right. Very good. Yeah. Oh, very good. Yes. I, de, de todas maneras, ya está igual como presentación en el grupo, right? La idea es que okay, la tengan thanks. y la estudien ahí. All right, guys. So, thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Please don't go out of your, of your house if you don't have to. And wash your hands and be safe. Okay? Okay. 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 All right, guys. Thank, thank you. you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.